fun. Friday night, it's five o'clock somewhere. We miss uh, in the world, as Maureen would say. She's at some event. I still don't know what it was. It's like something. Uh, and then I think she's going to be Pitbull. out actually Pitbull. next Pitbull. Friday as well. Uh, she'll be in Charlotte where there is a huge ASEA meeting. Are you guys going to that, Beth or Marty? Great. Have yeah. fun. We loved ours in San Antonio. Yes. Yes. And I have a, I have a ton of people that are going to be there. And we just had a death in the family. And I have to be oh, at a so funeral sorry. next week. Oh, shoot. Oh, All right, guys. Well, we've got people coming in from Western Australia, Floresville. Barrington, Texas, uh, Kurt from whatever. Uh, uh, they're going too fast now. Uh, San Antonio was awesome. <laughs> Hi, Arizona. Uh, Vancouver, <laughs> Sylvania, Georgia, Elk Grove, California. Uh, anyway, it's uh, a mouthful. good it's evening. We are the ASEA 5. And uh, tonight, uh, I'm Jim Glenn. I'm We're in San Antonio. My wife and I have been part of the company now for going on almost eight years now. Yeah. Uh, I have been an ex-financial advisor, stockbroker, estate planner. And what's your background? Well, I have a degree in nutrition science. I've taught nutrition fitness for over 18 years. And I love ASEA for almost eight years in June. Lee, tell us about you. Give us your background. Okay. Hello, everybody. I'm Dr. Lee Osler. I'm a dentist in the state of Washington. I've been practicing about 40 years and loving Redox for about four or five. Kind of you lose count after you have some fun times. And uh, I'm uh, an author. We've got Redox Matters and Healthy Matters at RedoxMatters.com. And tonight we've got uh, Beth Wilford and Dr. Marty Morin. Yes. Marty, and, you want to tell yeah, us, Marty, Marty, what about you? Uh, ladies first. Ladies first. All right, Beth. Beth. Go for it. Give us your bio, Beth. I, okay. Thank you very much. Um, I'm Beth Wofford calling in from Lexington, Kentucky. My husband and I have trained thoroughbred racehorses on our farm in, for over 40 years. And um, I found ASEA. I was blessed to find ASEA about 13 years ago. And because I was one of the first... Um, professional animal people that that found that were, was able to find this wonderful company very early i kind of got earmarked as the animal person and i have been compiling incredible stories for now 13 years i have an amazing extensive library of animal stories and it just keeps getting better and better it's just remarkable so i'm happy to be here tonight thank you for asking thank you great. you bet That's great marty Oh, well, um, I'm a research veterinarian. I've well, worked in research laboratories for most of my active veterinary career. People keep saying I worked at NIH for 40 years. I've been a veterinarian for 50 years, but um, but not at NIH quite that long. Worked for a couple of pharmaceutical companies, so I'll apologize for that. And uh, <laughs> we'll move on. <laughs> I am a recovering drug pusher I, I don't push drugs at all anymore and i you know we understand too much beth just told you a story about collecting animal recovery testimonials or stories about animals recovery and uh vertus norton the founder of asia did that he collected all kinds of thank you notes and he categorized them for different systems of the body and then along the way, along the journey, the company partnered up with a genetics laboratory. We'll probably talk about it in a little bit. But that genetics experiment explained why Virtus had all these compartments in his thank you letter book, uh, explaining why it was helping this system and that system and the other system in the body. It all comes back to cells. And uh, I'm sure Dr. Osler will tell us all about it. Yeah, that's all. Awesome. Oh, well, Lee, why don't you go ahead and come on and just go ahead and give the, the disclaimer that we always give and why we have to give that as well, if you don't mind. Sure. The, you know, the disclaimer here is that ASEA is a supplement company. And so we, we make no medical claims. We are not diagnosing, treating, or uh, preventing. This is a supplement. And so, therefore, it operates under, at least in the United States, under the FDA supplement rules, which is why we have this disclosure and we are not able to make those medical claims. At one time, uh, those of you who have, who have seen the Genesis video explaining the backstory of where this all came from, and I would highly recommend that you do that. You can see that at Redox, uh, Redox, uh, uh, discoverredox.com. There's a video there on the Genesis, but basically this was headed toward the drug side of the FDA. 
And through a, a long story short, it was flipped over to the supplement side, which made it available to everybody. And now it's in 33 countries and each country's uh, individual regulatory bodies are treating this in nearly identical fashion. So globally, we're not making claims, but that's the backstory. <clears throat> well, um, who wants to go first? Ladies first. Uh, Beth, do you want to share your journey? Uh, I know you've been here a very long time. Um, what? What's your story? What's your background story? Um, I uh, I have been really blessed to do what I absolutely love. And my husband and I worked together. We just celebrated 45 years of marriage. We've been working together wow. since before we got married. So, so we've great. been together a long time. And it's been a wonderful ride um, doing what we love to do. And horses, once horses are a part of your DNA, it really is, it has, it has, they have to be a part of your life. And so we've been blessed to, to do what we love. However, I uh, some time ago, I started realizing, especially when my kids went off to college, because I was very active in their education. I was volunteering, you know, for all the all the soccer board meetings and all that kind of thing. And when they were when they went off to college, I really felt that I had a, a social responsibility. I was trying to figure out what I could do to help mankind. I've done a lot for horse for the horse industry or for the horse world and started young horses off on a good good note but i really felt like i had a social conscience that was bothering me because i wanted to find a way to be of help just to be of service to other people and i had no idea what that looked like and along came asia with the their incredible mission statement that said to better people's lives and be a force for good in the world um that rang every bell in my body i just it was just something that i knew i found my home but before that uh before that i really read that mission statement i just uh i listened to a dear friend of mine who was a medical doctor who said this is the most amazing stuff i've ever seen in my entire life <clears throat> i trusted him i said i just want to stay younger longer this is awesome i want to stay younger longer we're going to keep training horses and you know till we're 90. <laughs> and um didn't have didn't think i was going to have any kind of response. I wasn't looking for a response for the product. I just loved the science behind it. I loved it made so much common sense that if you can help your cells work more efficiently, then it's just it's like reverse aging, or at least it's like retarding the aging process. And I love that idea. So I immediately got both of us on it and then started. And then once I was really encouraged and understood how safe it was and how you cannot overdose on it. And it's something that's native to our bodies. It's something that our bodies recognize as a part of a part of it. Um, I thought, well, every living cell works the same. You know, I talked to a veterinarian friend like Marty and, and I, every living cell has the same cell mechanism. And I thought, well, if it's safe, and if it helps me so much, it helps all these people that I'm listening to. Let me see if it helps animals. And we started, you know, back in those days, we didn't have a lot of a lot of tools, these wonderful tools like we have now. But we shared a lot of stories and we just kept and we kept saying, oh, well, you can't believe what happened. I, I gave it to my ferret who couldn't walk. And, you know, and then I gave it to my. Yes. And I, and I thought, OK, we'll try it on horses. We'll try it on my dog. We'll try it on my cats. We'll try it on, you know, and we just started pouring it in everything that walked. And it was the most remarkable experience. It was just it was incredible. The stories that we had flooding back and seeing in, in my own experience. And I just said, I've got to look and see what this company's all about. I have to see if I can trust these people. And once I met the company and the leaders of uh, the company leaders, and I went out to Salt Lake and I met them and I said, and I heard the mission statement, which was kind of devised quite a bit later, but still that heart message was there from the beginning. And I said, this is where I found my home. This is where I want to be. This is what I want to do to try to be of service to others for the rest of my life. And it's just been it keeps getting better and better after 13 years. And that's pretty remarkable to say about, you know, usually it's the first bloom. It's the honeymoon period. And then you go, oh, you know, it's not as good as I thought. Well, it's better. So, yeah, that's, yeah, my, that's my story. <laughs> yeah. And back in the beginning, Beth, if you don't mind, go into a little. Are we? Yeah, I'm unmuted. Um, You didn't have all the information that we have today. You didn't have any of the video. You didn't have any of the. And we do have some published studies that have been done shortly thereafter when you started, right? 
But what was it in the beginning that you, was it just, because I know you do, you knew you were very good friends with Dr. Ward. Um, mm -hmm. and, and he was pretty active with the company even before you were. Was it just that well, trust? They, was it the I'm trust sorry? that you had in Dr. Ward that made you look into it? But then did you do your own digging in? But today there with, with what Dr. Osler has blessed us with, with all that, with his books and things, but you didn't have any of that back then. What was right. it back then that really triggered you to look at this? Was it the results? Um, you know, it, to be honest, it it was I was not looking for results because I didn't think I had anything wrong with me. That's a whole nother part of my story that I had some chronic issues that I just didn't. It never occurred to me that I was going to have. I had a serious hormonal problem because of a hysterectomy from many, many years ago. And I have had one sided, excruciating one sided headaches where I go blind and then I can't speak. And then I'm out of commission for two, two days. I've had those since I was 11 years old. And when I when I found wow. the SIA, all I thought about was just staying active longer. It never occurred to me. I kept saying, no, I'm 100 percent, 100 percent healthy. I don't need to have it look to fix anything. And it never occurred to me that it was going to help those things. And two months after I started taking a SIA, I was off all this this massive dose of of hormonal therapy. My I've never felt better hormone wise. And the better best news is after about six months i realized uh, how long has it been since i've had a headache i've not had a headache <laughs> <laughs> difficult <laughs> situation yes, uh, right. yeah. <laughs> sorry we're not naming medical diseases here we're not naming diseases but i have not had the one-sided pain in my head in the 13 years i've been on a sia so it, that's been a magical experience for me. So uh, it was never about a product, a product story. It was just, I love that science. And Rob just spoke to me very sim simply and very clearly. I, I, and he said, this just makes the cells work better and communicate with the immune system. It just made so much sense to me. And I started telling everybody and I said, this stuff is great and it's safe. Try it and see what happens. Okay, Beth, we'll get to you in a minute, Marnie. Sorry. Uh, but Beth. <laughs> oh, I'm loving this. This is great. Okay, yeah. so, but you you had a little bit different bottle. White. But if I'm not mistaken, it said it was a dietary supplement. And it says it's from salt it water. It's made from salt water. So how did you overcome that with maybe so, either yourself and or people you shared it with that looked at the bottle and read that? What was, how did you handle that back then? One of the first things I asked Rob, one of the very first things is uh, how come I, well, number one, I've been hurt a lot and I've been in the hospital a lot because of horses and I've broken bones and everything and been, and I know that lactated ringers or some kind of just electrolyte supplement or saline solution is really the basis of all cell. And I love science. All my kids are both scientists. My dad was a scientist, a biological scientist. So I, I, I kind of have the gene. <laughs> So I loved the idea that something that is salt water, and I, what Rob said is there is no salt in the finished product. This is not salt water anymore. This is something that goes through a, this incredible process. I got to meet Gary Samuelson, the person who figured out how to stabilize the molecules. And I, the more I dove into the into the science, much less than than Dr. Osler, I, do, I don't think I would, I think I would have drowned if I'd gone that far deep, that deep. But I just, I got down to a level <laughs> that I really said, this just makes so much sense to me. And so I was really, I, I kept telling everybody, this is the most incredible thing. It's natural, it's native to your body. That's what really attracted me. I love anything that is something that are, I have an incredible respect for the human body's ability to heal itself. And I'm sure you're the same way when you give it good, healthy nutrition, you see how magical things can happen because our bodies are incredible instruments. And it's my body has been so good to me and has healed up so perfectly so many times that I just thought if I can give it something else that will help it work more efficiently, then I've got to do that favor for my body who's been so good to me for so long. And it's just been miraculous. So I started telling everybody. And when everybody kept coming back to me with these incredible stories, I thought, I've got to be serious about this because this is too important to say, oh, I'll tell people if I happen to meet them along the way. So it became a real mission. Cool. It's Marty, if you don't mind, come in. And before you share your background, I mean, your story, 
what, in your words, what are these molecules? What is Beth talking about? <laughs> yeah, it sounds pretty weird, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, well, you know, first I keep before hey, Marty, I forget. Real quick, real quick, I keep telling everybody because in the beginning, I thought I'm an ex stockbroker, and and people would bring stuff to me all the time. If there is anything out there in the world that sounds or smells like snake oil, too good this to be, be true. This would honestly, be honestly, this is it. Yeah, salt um, water product from Salt Lake City. Right, but before like, we before like we leave water. Beth's story, uh, it, we should make the point that animals have the same benefits as humans. And there's a lot of human benefits, a lot of animal benefits. And animals cannot have a placebo effect. Right. So let's okay. hold on to that. Hold on to that thought. Before you start saying, oh, it's just salt water, study it a little bit more. And before you say it's all in your head, it can't be in an animal's head. And they're getting all the same benefits as humans. But yeah. you know what? Uh, at the moment, I can't find my phone. And if I could, I would show it to you. Because uh, There you go. Thank you very much. Uh, these phones don't work. Well, wait a minute. I just made a call today. The only reason you made a call today is because there's a cell tower outside. Or there's a satellite outside that's helping your phone. Your phone can't make the call. All right, let's go to the cells. That's a cell phone, but we want to go talk about the cells inside the body. This is the cell tower. I just don't have enough power in the cells in my 75-year-old body. I do not have enough power for my cells to talk to each other, but I can supplement that power. And you can too. The biggest thing going on here is you have to be willing to give this a try. And so my story, when I got the, when we got the call here, my wife, Kathy, and I got the call from dear friends and they said, hey, we found something. It's helping us a lot. You might want to learn about it. Um, we did. We, we watched their video. Now I will tell you, I didn't believe a word of it. But I had two doctor's appointments I wanted to skip. One was with the prostate doctor, which nobody ever wants to go see that guy. And the other was uh, for an eye issue. And I didn't want to go see that guy either. And John and Kathy Hayes, our friends, were giving me an excuse to duck both of those appointments. And so I said, sure, we'll try it. Didn't believe a word of it. And then that got me away from here, got me up to our summer place in Canada. And I had the whole summer to duck those two doctor's appointments. That's all I was caring about. I was just getting out of Dodge. And uh, I came back, both the prostate issue was better and the eye issue was better. Now, I'll tell you, that's when my dilemma began. I had no trouble starting this. It was a dodge. For me, it was a dodge. But when it worked, now I'm a scientist and I've worked in research for years, a saltwater product from Salt Lake City should not work, right? So that's when my dilemma happened. My body was old at 66. I'm now 75, nine years on this product. I am younger myself. Now, I'm not younger. I'm nine years older. But my cells are younger today than they were then, nine years ago. So reverse aging, I, I believe that. It isn't just delaying aging. We're, I'm reversing aging. I think you are too, Beth. You're younger every time I see you. So we're, um, we have this ability now that some folks, some friends, you know, people on the uh, scale of a Lee Osler and a Beth Wofford came alongside me and said, this is why it works. And, uh, and as we've already talked about, this, these molecules are already in your body or you would not be alive, right? Um, if you stop breathing oxygen right now, you might have five minutes. If you stop making these molecules in your cells right now, your cells will die and very shortly thereafter, you'll go with them right? This is vital to your life. 
you're making them already. And like my analogy of the cell phone, at my age and quite frankly, any adult, any adult on the planet does not make enough of these molecules to really thrive to the best of their ability. Okay, Marty, can you explain why? Why does that happen? Why do these molecules start to decline? And I do when someone did bring up, there is a very little bit of sodium still left, correct? Or correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, just, uh, it's, it's a small yeah, amount. It, it, says, right? it says there's a small amount of sodium in here. And before somebody says, well, I have blood pressure, I can't take it. Yes, everybody can take it. Uh, get Get back with the person who's telling you this story and ask them every question you can think of. The only thing you can do wrong is to not study this, right? right. Give it a try. I don't care why you try, right? Beth tried because she trusted her friend, a, a doctor friend. I tried to get out of Dodge without going to the doctors, right? It doesn't matter why you try. Give this a chance to transform your life. I'm sitting here nine years after starting this technology and I'm younger, my cells are functioning younger today than they were then. Go try to figure that out. Uh, so what was your question, Jim? You know, I was trying to remember <laughs> what the heck I asked you. Lee, do you remember? Well, first you were sharing about your background and then you were sharing about what exactly are these molecules, you know, when, oh, you, when you're- Oh, what are these them. molecules? Oh, oh well, that's re why I asked you. Why? Quick, why do we make so, less? Oh, yeah. Why do we make less? Yeah. All right. So, I, I got, I've got my redox mind in my mood shirt on. It, it's starting to work now. I just go go, little, go like take up. some more while we're talking. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, uh, as so we age after after puberty, which is pretty early for most of us, a long time ago for me, we start to make less and less of these molecules, right? So when you're out at the 70, 80 uh, age group, uh, you're, you're not making as many of these things as you need for sure. But I would say the same thing about a teenager. And the proof to that is we have a couple Olympic gold medal winners that have used this product while they were competing in the Olympics. They're not old. And yet they found their bodies would work better when they supplemented these molecules. So even teenagers, young adults are deficient. They just haven't figured right. it out yet. Those of us at the other end of the age spectrum already know we're in trouble, right? Yeah. Um, so what would cause these, there are things out in the, people don't realize how much is damaging their bodies every day. OK, they may think, well, I'm doing great. I'm you know, they don't realize how bad they felt or where they were, where they look like, you know, five years ago. But what can cause your body to decline quicker? Are there any things out there that can cause maybe Lee? Oh, yeah, uh, what can cause the body to age quicker? Stress, maybe uh, Lee, what other things can do that? Well, you got radiation, um, you know, aging itself is a risk factor for that. Uh, dietary, you know, practices, lifestyle, bad lifestyle. The, the thing that causes, you know, disease, aging, um, faulty cellular communication and so forth um, is the increase of oxidation in the cell. You know, we, we, give, we give sometimes, we think about DNA and with everything going on with it, but upstream of the DNA or overlaying the DNA, we call it epigenetics for the, the word epi, which means that it's an overlay. We have this control mechanism that responds to whether cell is oxidized or not. And we speak of homeostasis or balance. That would be like in, in a room that you're in, if, if it is, uh, I'm just going to pick 72 degrees as your comfortable, you know, balanced temperature in your room. If the temperature dropped to 65, you would be a little chilled or you'd be a little stressed out. Or if it jumped up to 85, it would be too hot. You can think of that as, as an imbalance or you're, you are out of homeostasis from a cellular uh, speak or you know, terminology. So when a cell has elevated um, oxidation, it is not in balance anymore. And there's a mechanism that kicks in in the cell that detects that, that senses it, and then responds to it. It's an adaptive response regulatory circuit. Think of it like the thermostat on your wall. 
when things go, you know, hot or cold in your room, you expect some machine to turn on to restore you to that balance or that set point so that everything's happy again. And some people's machine or their, you know, their heating uh, apparatus, their HVAC or their, their air conditioner, it doesn't work right and it won't return them. And so the, the room stays stressful. And I think that's a good metaphor to look at this to say, well, in, inside a cell, when there's stress or oxidation, what is it that kicks in? What activates? What's, what begins to happen that will restore me or adaptively adjust me back to that balanced position? Because if I don't stay balanced, then I'm going to create inflammation, which is the precursor to disease processes. So what, what Marty and Beth are talking about here, folks, is that we have an ability to get upstream. We can get, we can get earlier on. We can get at a more foundational level and have some regulatory control over all these things that are causing disease, including, as we said, radiation or toxicity, uh, mitochondrial dysfunction, um, disease processes, inflammation, and so forth. This is kind of like the master stuff. Well, I, I yeah. use the analogy yeah. of the buffet, mm -hmm. right? Um, if you go down the buffet, there's some bread, there's some salad, there's some uh, vegetables or some other kinds of things and meat and whatever. You, you go all the way down the line, you can pick up what you want. When I drink this, I'm sending these redox molecules, supplement, same ones I'm making in my cells, just not enough. Now I'm sending a supply of these redox molecules around in the bloodstream and cell one can pick up the, the pieces it needs. Down the line, cell five million can pick up the things that it needs. I drink this orally, right? Not from the bottle, but from a right. little cup. Mini cup. <laughs> and <laughs> sorry, quick catch. Um, <laughs> so, we're, we're drinking this up here, right? It's going down our throat into our stomach, but the molecules could end up in the top of your brain or in the bottom of your foot. The smorgasbord is moving through your body of enough of these molecules, trillions of them, trillions with a T, like the way the US government spends money, T, trillion trillions of them running through your bloodstream so that your cells can pick up the things they need to do what? Right back to Dr. Osser's comment that they have to come back into balance. This gives us a way to find that balance. And I'm going to tell a quick, is it okay to tell a quick dog story? That's what uh, we're here for. for. Go for it. Well, people uh, probably know um, what our Jack Russell Terrier is. Oh, I, yeah. I think of it as the closest thing to a perpetual motion machine God ever put <laughs> on the earth, right? A Jack Russell Terrier has to be moving, right? Even mm -hmm. in its sleep, it's moving. Uh, and we had a Jack Russell Terrier that was getting to be an older dog and it needed to be carried from place to place. Uh, that's, that's pain to a Jack Russell Terrier. Because the Jack, Jack Russell Terrier doesn't want to walk from place to place. It wants to race from place to place. And somebody noticed that this dog had a problem, mentioned to the owner about these redox molecules, actually offered the man some redox molecules for the dog, and the man went home with his dog. And he didn't think anything more about it. He wasn't interested in this product or the, you know, the guy had given to his dog. He's out in his wood shop. And the wife comes home a little later and she looks in her backyard. Now, these, this family has two Jack Russell Terriers, the old one that needs to be carried and the puppy that races around everywhere. And the wife looks in the backyard and there are two Jack Russell Terriers racing around her backyard. So she goes to find this oblivious husband. You know, I'll put my hand up. I'm oblivious husband right here. So I'm not poking fun at this guy. He's in the wood shop. He's not paying any attention at all. And the wife walks in and says, what's going on? He doesn't have a clue what she's talking about because the two dogs are racing around in the yard. 
what happened? The smorgasbord <laughs> delivered a bunch of molecules around in this dog's body right. quite quickly, actually. And what was missing were the molecules. Now, you say, that didn't work for my dog. Well, in your dog, what might be missing is the building blocks, like the nutrients, right? Because one of the things Dr. Rosser didn't mention and causing us to be ill is that you look in the grocery store and you see a red tomato. Your grandfather had a tomato like that that was nutritious. <laughs> you need to eat 20 of those tomatoes to get the same amount of nutrition now, right? So even though the food looks like lettuce, it looks like a tomato, it looks like a potato, it doesn't have the nutrients in it that happened a few generations ago. And so uh, even our food is a part of the problem. And, and so whether it's a human or an animal that we're talking about, don't forget that yes, we can support the redox molecules and that's critically important. The only place you can do that is with a CIA, but you might also have a serious deficiency on the nutritional side. Well, and it takes the signaling molecules to make all that what's good for you work better. Now, I was going to comment about, uh, you have a great 10-minute video you had sent us a while back and actually about a year and a half ago called Animals Can Heal Naturally, the little clip, and you did it with Edwina, King, uh, Edwina Lee, excuse me, and um, I love it because, you know, the start of the video, you talk about, you know, if there's a health, wellness uh, you know, something out there in health wellness that can be transformed by a breakthrough, you wouldn't, wouldn't you want to know about it? You know, you share that with a friend and hopefully they would say yes and be curious. And then um, fast forward at the end of your video, you talk about, like you just said, it works the same with the animals, age and an issue. If it's those two issues, that determines if that dog, cat, horse, whoever, um, needs more. And again, same with people, you know, sometimes people say, well, I'm, I'm drinking my four ounces. Well, four ounces is the minimum, you know, are you not skipping days? Are you not drinking out of the bottle? Did you give it, you know, 90% sea change in 90 days? A lot of people give up too quick and don't realize, well, we have a gene study that came out in September, 2017 that shows that these molecules work in important pathways. And so um, love for y'all to talk about, um, you know, the product and how it works. You know, our dog, we put it on his paws and it, and it works. It, we put it on his nose, he licks it. We put it on his, across his eyes and we saw an eye issue get better. Um, he, he knows every day there's a routine and he is very obedient to the routine. He's nine years old and I would not share it one day without giving him these molecules. Um, but I, I'm sure it excited you, Beth, when they came out with the gel, cause now you could do more stuff with these animals. So why don't y'all talk a little bit about how you use it and some neat stories. And then Jim's got a quick yeah. thing he's going to show y'all. Actually, real quick, that Jack Russell story, Snitch, Marty. Snitch. I've got the video. Yeah, that's a fabulous video. They brought the dog inside and uh, they did the racing around thing. Yes. In the yeah, house. I've got it. I I've got it. I defy, I defy you to tell me which is the old dog. Yes, <laughs> it's so cute. I don't know if Jim's trying to pull it yeah, up. I'm going to try. I'm going to go ahead and play real quick. Can you all see it? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There he goes. <laughs> uh, remember that one of these dogs could hardly walk. Yes. <laughs> That's so cute. And he's a movie star. Look at him. He was a movie dog as well. <laughs> yes, he was. He loves the camera. <sighs> Okay, we'll I, stop. I think you could tell based on maybe the grayness in the hair. I don't know. And the one that was looking right at us is Snitch. I, I'm pretty sure that's the hey, story. Yeah, that's the know. movie. That's the movie star. He recognized the camera. Yeah, isn't that awesome? <laughs> okay. Awesome. So anyways, we were going to the com comment you were going to start, Beth, about what yeah. I had just Right. Shared. I think 
One of there's a couple of things that spring to mind, um, and we can uh, uh, glance down a couple of a few of the comments in the chat. And people are saying, "How do you give it to a dog?" And you started by saying you put the gel on paws and things. Um, I think the thing, one of the most heartwarming and the one tear jerking stories, not one. I've heard such so many stories of older animals. They they have they develop some kind of problem and they're taken to the vet and I'm telling you and the vet says you know we could try this or we could try this but you know it might be just his time and maybe you uh -huh. just need to take him and the people say well I'm going to take him home and let the family say goodbye and I'll bring them bring him home and th then somebody says somebody finds out about that or they might have just heard about our products and they'll say what the heck why don't yeah. we try these you know, try to give them this stuff. We have nothing to lose. And this is not a panacea. It's not going to keep your dog alive until he's, you know, 35. But no. what it does is it gives these dogs have the same response that you're seeing with this, this little Jack Russell. And they get so much, their quality of life is so much better. They come, they basically, you know, come back to where they have this wonderful quality of life and then they might die six months later very gently and quietly and everything fine but so it you know it's not that your dog's not going to die it's just that it's going to give him a quality of life at the end of his life and i think those older animal stories are the most the most heartwarming because there's nothing i mean for animal people they're i'm telling you losing a losing a beloved pet is is a very, very difficult experience. People that aren't animal people don't really get that, but it is a very difficult experience. So to see your beloved animal, four-legged animal friend, you know, f feel better and have a wonderful quality of life and then die peacefully is a real gift. It's just wonderful. But yes. um, I have, we have a 14 year old dog that we've had and he's a farm dog. He runs like crazy. He's probably, he's kind of half Jack Russell. I think we don't know. He's a mutt, we, he's a rescue. <laughs> but he has been getting a see every single day for about eight years um, because he was so energetic and so crazy early on. And I thought, well, you know, he really hasn't, he still probably has a pretty good complement of molecules in his body. And then as, as I could see him start getting mid to middle age, I, and he's very, very picky about eating. Uh, that's where, Anne, where you were talking about putting the gel on paws or maybe inside ears, you know, any uh -huh. way you can get those molecules in is fine. And they can lick it. They, they uh, You can put it on their gums, you know, if you want to use the gel that way. However, I, I many, many dogs will drink it out of a bowl. My yeah. dog, there's no way he was going to drink it out of the bowl. But when I started chatting with a couple a couple research scientists, I think Marty, you actually came up with it to begin with, is just put a tiny, tiny little bit of their of some stinky food. We use tuna that we just put like like a pencil eraser, uh, and he won't drink it. Uh, but it would, he, we put a tiny little, very small little blob of tuna in the middle, and he drinks it all up beautifully. So do you lose a little efficacy with that little blob of tuna? Probably. But you know, the, listen, he's 14 years old and going like a, like crazy dog. So that's awesome. So some things are working well. Some things are working well. So yeah. uh, Jim, now, were you about to say something? I well, think. I just want to make sure, maybe Lee, this is for you, but this is designed for human consumption, correct? Marty or Lee, can you kind of how do we cross yeah, that? Yeah, we're we're not uh, we're not marketing it. As he is not marketing this product for uh, for pets, but we're and yet you know I I haven't met a horse or a dog that has a credit card anyway. So we and have to talk to the, to the we have yeah. to talk to the owner, right? Mm -hmm. And if the owners figure this out, there that way, if the owners figure this out. What Beth and I both find is that they almost immediately share it with their pets. Uh, that's not a problem, right? Uh, the The pet is not coming to us to buy this. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Right. You're selling this to a human, and the human is either going to share with their pet or not, and and so that's not that's not going to be a can not going to be an issue. Advice. What I actually person. find, what I actually find, is it's a lot of humans who will not spend the money for this for themselves, but they will buy it for their pets. 
Yeah. So uh, don't don't decide for other people. Let them make their own choices. What my job is, um, you know, I've, I've been starting in my presentations to use the story of the the boy throwing the starfish off the off the beach, um, and the guy comes along and sees all the starfish. Says, "You can't possibly. What are you doing? You can't make a difference to all these starfish." And so the little boy bends down, picks up a starfish, tosses it in the water, made a difference for that one, right? I am not going to touch 8 billion people on this planet. I can't do it, right? But I can touch one. I can touch two every day. And if we'll do that, some of them will figure it out and they will share with their pets. I think that's, I think it's automatic. Well, yeah. and I also have, I actually have found that it's vice versa as well. I mean, I've had I, people come to me all the time and ask if it's going to help their pet. And I, you know, we go through the whole thing as if I know the, mole, the way that molecules work and how the uh-huh. cell mechanism. And then they say, okay, I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. And then they call me back and say, this is just miraculous. You think this could help me? Yeah. <laughs> I said, that's oh. it. <laughs> so, yeah. So all of us, you know, then it, it opens out. the door. Especially the people who are very, very picky about saying this is all placebo, because that's, as you mentioned, Marty, at the very beginning, you can't placebo an animal. And that is just enough. Sometimes that those stories about animals are enough to switch that, finally open that door a little wider so they take a bit more of a look. Yeah, maybe a skeptic would look. Well, and yeah, no, and a baby can't have a placebo effect. No. We're going to have uh, Donna Lynn Dominguez is going to be with us in a couple of weeks, and she'll she'll discuss that. But, you know, I, I, I term people as until people. And I don't know, Lee, if you want to speak to this, but so many you – you found out about this because you, well, your wife went to the doctor and she had that issue and your friend shared it. But so many people wait until, until something's wrong. They wait until my pet is, you know, we're going to the vet to maybe do what we need to be doing. And is there anything out there? Can you guys speak to be proactive? I mean, is that a correct terminology? Be you know, I want to invest in me. I want to invest in our animal long term. That's going to be cheaper. Uh, it's really costly to get sick. Can you guys talk to that, Lee? Well, you were talking about the difference between intervention and prevention. You know, we, we go along and, and we feel OK and we all have this. We've been conditioned in our culture to have a drug mindset. And we when we take something, we measure the result. And if it doesn't, quote unquote, work then we toss it aside and go to the next one. And sometimes that can happen very quickly. And it's a, it's a premature judgment that we will reach because we haven't you know, dealt with you know, the way it needs to be. But um, you know, I was thinking when Marty was talking a minute ago about LD50, you know, when, when, when drugs or, or vitamins or nutraceuticals are being evaluated and they're going through their testing, There's a thing called the LD50 or the lethal dose 50. And basically what that is, is in a laboratory setting, the laboratory animals, unfortunately, they're almost always animals, are given the agent or the drug or the metabolite or whatever it is being tested at at increasingly higher doses until 50% of the animals die. And then you know the the dose at which they're 50% perish, and that's the LD50, and you can now become a drug, uh, ironically. Well, that never happened for this product, which is why it was flipped from from the drug line to the supplement line, is because it was never gonna become a drug. The financial backers backed away and said, if you're not gonna be a drug, we're taking our money somewhere else. And as as Marty was was discussing this, it's like, isn't it almost ironic that we can take this and and, uh, I wouldn't intentionally experiment with a human by saying, I want you to keep drinking this until 50% of the humans in the room die, you know, but what they found out was that nothing died, nothing got sick, they all got healthier, which is why we have this huge, um, you know, non-toxic statement that it's healthy and and because of what it does. And so, you know, to to that point, um, this becomes now a preventive rather than an interventive thing. When, it, when, when things aren't working well and they, a symptom finally shows up, I'll run off to the doctor 
and I'll say, you know, X, Y, Z hurts or, you know, something's going on and they'll prescribe something as an intervention because years earlier, your cells quit working like they should, or they slowed down enough to produce that symptom now. And so that's the, that's the glorious thing to me about this. And, and that was actually what my wife's story was about, which got my attention was we'd spent 40 years running around the Northwest trying to get solutions to some pretty grave, you know, health issues. And when her physician just said, I think you should try this. And I said, what is it? And he said, just Google it and go get some. And so we did, we got some and it was like flipping a switch. And that's, that was the start of my journey. But um, anyway, that, that, that to me is the difference between intervention and prevention. And if you think this is expensive, try disease. Yeah. No, I agree with that. And in my weekly presentations, I have a slide by uh, one of the founders of chiropractic care in, in this country. And uh, he talked about the fact that it's easier to stay well than to recover from disease. That's a very wise statement. If, if you have health now, please don't wait until you've lost it to try this product. Do we have marvelous recovery stories of people who have used this product and recovered from disease? Yes. Do we recommend it? No. <laughs> Why? It's easier to stay well than it is to recover. To recover. Yeah. Easier to stay well. I'm writing that down. than to recover. That's from just disease. not a very good story, though, is it, in our culture? <laughs> it's like... Well, you know, people... Uh, uh, People, I think, are a little bit like a magpie. A magpie goes around collecting shiny objects, right? And I think way too many human. Uh, look, there's a reason I'm a veterinarian. Um, if I had to listen to humans give me excuses for why they weren't going to do what I was recommending to them, I think I would pull the revolver out of my drawer and just shoot them, right? I'm a veterinarian on purpose. My <laughs> my. Uh, patients sometimes bite, but they don't talk back to me, right? And so we we have this issue with humans where they just will do the silly thing rather than what they have experienced is in their best interest. And it's just classically human. I, I don't think there's much we can do about that. Some of them will wake up, Jim, and they'll come back and they'll say, hey, you know, I think I want to try that thing again. Now, yeah. here's what's crazy, Marty, if you want to kind of go over this, because I think you know David Silverman well, but um, we have something to validate that what we have is really real, because if you do the three and five application with the gel uh, to anybody that has any kind of discomfort, and we did this with a person down in Corpus Christi this past Monday or last week, and she had two hands that were just, she had the braces on her hands, and they were, she had a a lot of inflammation that was causing a lot of discomfort. We put the gel here three times and we waited, we talked, and then she just goes, oh, how? She goes, oh my gosh. I, she goes, I can't believe this. And then what was crazy is that she then goes, and this one doesn't hurt either. And we didn't put the gel there. Now- A twofer. That, yeah. A twofer. Just, yeah. So, but it just, but if you go do that to 10 people, I dare you. Get a tube from the person that brought you on the call. Go out and say, hey, I'm looking and make it fun. We look for people that have any discomfort. If you need me to, I'll kick you or burn you with a cookie sheet like Jerry White no, don't, said. Don't burn anybody. But, but, but the, I know I'm joking. But I want to ask you, Marty Morin, why in the world did you do that? <laughs> All right. Uh, well, it's not my brightest hour. I'll, I'll admit that. I, I was showing people photographs of um, of the skin doing better when the topical gel, Jim's talking about a product we call Renew28, exactly the same redox molecules as in the beverage is also in this topical gel. I was showing people pictures of skin doing better, uh, particularly older folks, skin doing better when the gel was applied. And they said, hey, you know, that's just a Photoshop image. You don't, you're just being tricked. And so I got a little mad and I went home and I got my tube and I put it on one side of my face twice a day, 28 days, took a single photograph. That's one picture. Bring it back up, Jim. 
That's okay. one picture. And uh, somebody um, put a dotted line down the middle of my version of it and put these words on here, 28 days on the right side of my face. And what I want you to note about this is that the skin is thicker on the side that got the gel than on the other side that didn't. I didn't get a twofer on my face, Jim. Uh, but there's no moisturizer in this product, folks. Right. Why is it thicker? It's thicker because the cells over there realized they weren't doing their job properly, they could do the job better. And they started to do that. They put better cells in place within 28 days. And, and I was able to take that single photograph. Uh, and I think this is something we should talk about because this product is underutilized, right? Yeah. If you took this, if you're trying to believe, if you're trying to get some confidence that you're not being hoodwinked by the people on this call tonight, uh, take one of these tubes and go to a tennis court. I guarantee you those people are hurting, right? Yeah, yeah. Go to a golf dr driving range and half of those people can hardly swing a club. And if you got some of them to agree to put this gel on three times in five minutes, uh, six minutes, maybe, whatever, over a 10 minute window, most of them, if they're telling you the truth, most of them are going to notice the difference. I'll tell you a quick story about that. Uh, Kathy and I uh, met a server at a restaurant and uh, we thought maybe she would be interested in making some extra money. And so we went to visit her one morning at a coffee shop and we had some products with her and we were talking to her about it. And I, she was young, maybe 20 years old, right? So I'm not thinking this is a person in tremendous pain. So we, we just put the topical gel on one side and she rubbed it in there, but not that side. And almost instantly she could tell the difference in the skin that had the gel on it. But then she told us about her terrible back pain. What, <laughs> 20 years old, she'd been in an auto accident. I didn't even think to ask. Uh, and so off to the restroom, she goes with our tube of gel, puts it on a couple of times. She didn't even need the three, Jim. And she she said, that's, that's amazing. I feel significantly better in just a few minutes. Folks, this is not a parlor trick, right? right. When the company studying this gel uh, for skin measured it, they found that uh, the benefit to the cells in the skin happened in just minutes. Now, 50%, they measured 50% increase in blood flow, but 49% of that blood flow happened in just a few minutes, which explains David Silverman's three times in five minutes, it's blood flow. Uh, and that's what people notice on the back of a hand, right? Back of a hand, one side, not the other. Uh, we say back of the hand because sometimes ladies have makeup on and, and right. that's going to mess with this. So the back of the hand probably doesn't. And they're going to notice that blood flow increase bringing what? Bringing a smorgasbord of trillions of redox molecules that weren't there a few minutes ago. Right, D, Dr. Lee? Okay. I want to bring something up here. And Beth, I've got a question for you to close this out. And I'm, I may be putting you on the spot and I apologize in advance. But Lee, here's my Go concern with, okay, with the gel, uh, we've had some people that apply it to a, a bad area and they got relief in the beginning. And my message to them, that's signaling to you that it's working, right. but you need this long term to fix you continually. Uh, and it's a it's a stackable benefit. It gets better and better. My concern is that, well, I want that to get better now and stay better and never bother me again. And we're not saying that. And so with continued application, you're going to get some relief. But yet this is the critical thing because it's healing you from the inside out. The and it can go outside. and it can go anywhere in your body. Right. But right. when you did your face now, real quick, we have another lady that did her face as well. Same results. 
live and she said it didn't work yours was quite evident i'm just curious what kathy thought it's like oh my god <laughs> you better hurry up and do the other side buddy but she i asked this lady um will you ever stop doing the stuff she said are you nuts i don't want to go <laughs> back to that so but i want people to have the common sense that it takes the body time right. to heal his way the way our bodies were designed we can you speak to that real quick? And then I want to close it out with Beth. Well, we didn't get sick overnight. You know, I mean, even though your symptoms might appear overnight, something upstream was going wrong that precipitated, you know, a an adaptive or maladaptive response in the body. We, we have mil multiple pathways and backup systems throughout the body, uh, biologically, functionally, and so forth. And we can compensate tremendously uh in in doing that and so this inside out outside in as well as time parameter is is a part of that and and people say well I, again back to the it doesn't work thing and it's like well it took you eight years to get sick you're telling me then in eight minutes or eight days or eight weeks you're 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 not you know wholly better but we also um there's some things you have already gone under the bridge. You know, this water is already, or in our case tonight, the horse has already escaped the barn, I guess. You know, you can't put the horse back in those kind of barns. And so um, we're just trying to recover the natural ability to heal. We're trying to recover the natural ability to do that. And what we use as a supplement assists that. We're not healing anything. We're, we're, we're allowing the body to do the healing to the extent that it is capable from both a genetic as well as a I've already been injured, you know, perspective. I'll toss it over to Beth. Yeah. Jim, go ahead. Jim did okay, there was there yeah. something specific? Yeah. Well, yeah. real quick, someone's asking the question, how do you administer it to a horse? Can you deal with that real quick? I saw that. Yes. Yeah, I, I, I was just gonna mention yeah, real quickly. Um uh, uh, the, as why, well, don't if you, your animal why, why don't you mention animalwebinar.com, Beth, so that they no, could go and, and learn a lot about then, dosing all kinds of animals. And then exactly. also your Facebook site. You're all, also Facebook, your, your Facebook, Facebook site. Sure. Um, animalwebinar.com has about 40 different animal webinars, half an hour animal webinars, because I did those every month until we built up a library. And there's they're all done by the thumbnails, so you could glance through and see what's horse oriented, what's dog oriented, what's cat oriented. Um, cats rarely ever drink out of a dish, so um, I found that with my cats, if I just put a little syringe in the side of their mouth and just squirt the syringe in, and many many dogs that they won't drink out of a dish either. And you can just squirt the the liquid in the side of the mouth and just get slowly enough that they can swallow. And that you can get the liquid down very easily that way. So for a small, smaller animals, that's a great way to do it. Horses, what we found, and anybody who, who is a horse person knows that if it, anything made to go orally in a horse's mouth is always very viscous, it's always very sticky because a horse is gonna try to spit it out. That's a natural response. You can hold their head up and yes, it goes through the lining of the mouth and, and you can get some molecules. But I, those heads are heavy. And when you yeah. drop the horse's head, he's going to spit some out. And it kills my soul to see him spitting out those molecules. So we have found that you can give it rectally. The rectal tissue is very absorbent. It doesn't matter which way the molecules get into the body. They will go where they're needed, where the imbalance is. It doesn't have to pass through the metabolic system. So it doesn't have to be metabolized or digested. So giving it um, with a dose syringe in, in anally or rectally is a very easy way for the horse not to have any, any loss of, of product. So that's a real, real easy way to do it. And they don't mind as much as people do. They don't seem to mind that at all. That's the way we take their temperatures. That's the way we check for pregnancy. You know, it's a, it's a natural thing and horses don't really get too squirrely about it like people do. So that's a right. real quickie about how to administer. Oh, so right, right. Yeah. real quick. So your um, Facebook page, is it a Sea of Pets? What is it? A Sea of Healthy Pets. Healthy Pets. A Sea of Healthy Pets. And it's it just because we are, are wanting to stay compliant, you have to ask to be invited. And I, I, I will approve you. I check it every single day. So it'll never go more than 24 hours without me approving um, you. And you can get in. And there are hundreds of stories there. But... 
Um, and also awesome. animalwebinar.com is also password protected. Password. Can I go ahead and give the password here? Okay. Why not? It's uh, yeah. associate with a capital A. And you'll, awesome. you sign in at the beginning and then you click archives and it'll ask you to put in the, the uh, password again. And then you will come up with, all, with about 40 different, um, different webinars. Okay, we're right, going right, a little right. bit long, yeah. <clears throat> but I want to ask you a question It's totally maybe on the business side, Beth. Uh, and I've got a saying is it's if, when, and then. So if someone's open-minded and when they believe, then they're willing to share it. You mentioned you've got two very brilliant daughters. Um, they also have degrees, higher levels of degrees. And I don't know the answer to this. Have they welcomed ASEA in their lives or not? I have a daughter now, and a I don't son. Mean to put you on the spot. I don't mean to. Uh, no, no, that's fine. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. I, and I, I know don't your want daughter. To go well, I know your daughter is higher up. In my daughter in is school. is yeah. My daughter is actually a, a Marty Moore, and she has a PhD in cell and molecular biology, and then she, from Duke University, and then she went to vet school. So now she's a research scientist in animal health, a veterinary research scientist. She is extremely, extremely empirical. Everything is, if I have not written, if I haven't read about this in a medical journal, a peer reviewed medical journal, and you know, and plus her mother rides horses for a living. Come on, you think she's gonna listen to me? <laughs> However, I said, let me send you this and tell me if you notice a difference. And she loves the product, but she will not tell anybody about it because yeah. she said, I don't think this is just in, it's just, it's, it's too out there. And I should know about this. If this is really redox signaling molecule, I mean, she's, she knows how important it is and because it helps her body, but she won't say anything to anybody, which is good enough for me. You know, she, that's just, that's one of those mother daughter dynamics. My son is much more open and he and his fiance drink it every single day. They think it's great. And they people say, you know, it's interesting thing. I've heard people, I've heard their friends say something about if they happen to be around us and he says something about ASEA and, they, and they'll say, oh, do you drink that stuff? What do you notice? And he says, you know, I don't know, but I'm telling you, I'm afraid to stop because I think it's really keeping me healthy, you know? So he won't really take a stand, but he knows and they, they're religious about drinking it. And that's good enough for me. Again, as a mom, as long as they're drinking the product, that's fine with me. So being, it being is pro it's being, being proactive about your health is a really good reason to take exactly. this product. Yeah, it's their exactly. best kept secret. And best yeah. kept secret, you know, they have they love it, but they keep it as a secret for themselves. That's <laughs> well, but that's okay. <laughs> that is okay. You know, guys, it's it we really thank you again, Beth and Marty. You guys are our go-to, uh, not only for animals, but sometimes the animals owners need a little bit of help as well yeah. uh, in believing what we have. So I want to thank you yeah. deeply for uh, taking your time to help. And guys, if anybody is near the Charlotte area, this next, not this weekend, but next Friday evening and yeah. Saturday, yeah. please reach out to the person that got you on this call and get to one of these events and meet people like, because Beth, you're going to be there? No, you're not. I'm sorry. No, you had a death. Can't. Marty, are you going to be down there? No, I can't no? go. Okay. Well, Bill Perry, one of my best buddies on the planet, he's going to be there. And it's just Terry Latham's going to be there. Maureen Hayes will actually be there. Donalyn Dominguez will be there. So, And real quick about that is all guests now are free to go yeah. to the event. Yeah. So that's pretty exciting. And so there yeah. is the following weekend. Yeah, it's going to be in Spokane. In Spokane. So, so guys, exciting. we have a gift. Yeah, it sounds crazy. It sounds, well, frankly, too good to be true. But you know what I want to leave you with is what if. What if this is real? And then something happens to someone you know, love, or care about, or maybe even yourself. And you go, because you'll never get this out of your mind that we've got a technology that works on everything alive plants as well and when you have that knowledge in your head you're never going to forget it and you may not need it now you may not think but you're going to come up with someone maybe in five minutes ago you know what there is somebody i know reach out to the one that got you on the call the most loving act that you can do 
is to share this gift. It's up to them on how they receive it. Just send them to discoverredox.com and have them go to the, oh, I just had it saved. Um, go to the ASEA Global on Redox, discoverredox.com, or go to, Lee, what's your website? Uh, redoxmatters.com. <clears throat> and where will this video be in about an hour, Lee? Redoxmatters.com in the video tab. We will have the animal version of ASEA 5 posted. And you also have other videos there that you have done with the amazing Dr. Dick Walker, correct? We do. We've got, this is a repository site where we're just collecting them and hosting them. And so uh, Dr. Dick Walker and I have, uh, well, he, mostly him, I've been on his uh, own podcast once in a while, but uh, we've, we're uh, archiving his videos there too. So the point is, if, if someone says, but I really want to know deeper, I want to know science stuff. Um, it's there. And it's and in it's your Redox. books. Yeah. And it's in the That's books. Right. Yes. Yeah. We've got, we've got 750 pages, 800 literature citations. I went through two or 3000 citations to come up with 800 that would, would do it. I wanted to make them bulletproof. I wanted, you know, people say, yeah, but show me the science. And it's like, well, you've got to argue this down from 800 citations. That's how wow. you got to explain this away. Yeah. Well, guys, thank That's you. Great. Next week, we have Dr. Aaron Kaufman yeah. and Foster Malmed. Uh, they are a tag team. They're absolutely hilarious. We have a lot of fun with them. So it will be Ann and myself and Dr. Osler with uh, Dr. Kaufman and Dr. Foster Malmed. So Maureen will be actually, again, she'll be in Charlotte. So please reach out to the one. We've given you a gift. What are you going to do with it? At least utilize it yourself. And when you realize what it's doing, we might, like Dr. Carmen Key says, if you don't share it, you're selfish. Yep. Her words, don't get mad at me. So guys, thank you so much. We'll have this recorded now. Thank, thank you, you again. So thank you, Beth, thank you. and thank you, Dr. Marty. Enjoy God bless everybody. Thanks, Lee. Thanks for joining us. All right, bye-bye. Bye-bye.